Okay, welcome to the third video tutorial. This is a little bit different concept than what we've seen in the first two videos. The code for it is fairly simple, but the actual concept of making it is quite difficult. First thing you want to do is open Gorilla, then minimize it. Next is to load up Stringlist Editor. This is an application by Steelix B, and uh, it's a very useful application rather than using tool to edit Stringlist. The stringlists are located in tags, UI, and these ones are in HUD, and the ones we're going to be editing, messing with, are not these ones. Not the, these are the vehicle and the weapon ones. So we're going to create our own. We're going to call, we're just going to add an uh, item. It's going to say something should go here. Now we're going to call this the name of your map. So, Fatty. That'll work fine. Now I save the string list. I'm going to go into tags, levels, and the name of your map, which in this case is Paradox. And you can save it right in your main folder as a Unicode string list. And make sh you doesn't have to specify a name, but just calling it the name of your map makes things better for everyone. And just now we can just close that. Now, next thing we're going to do is go into Gorilla. Go into Levels. And the name of your map. And just open up your scenario. And now, what I use for reference, because I don't feel like memorizing stuff, is I just looked at uh, Huge Ass and Cold Snap, how the the text on bound screen is fun stuff like that, that that's like really long so I just use one of my other maps for reference and I'm going to go down to cutscene titles and click add and now you have cutscene just call it cutscene 1 now text on bound on screen should be 425 0 446 and then 597 string index should stay 0 uh, justification should be right. Text color should be 255, 255, 255, and 255. And fade in time, we're not going to have it that high because it gets annoying. So it's probably just 10, 10, and 10. That's fine. Now you're going to go to uh, in game help text and you're going to select your Unicode string list. And you're going to click save. Minimize those and load up HSC editor yet again. That was weird. Okay. Now we've got this. We just go into tools, load script templates, cutscene titles. Click OK. There's the code. And just hit save. Go to your map's name, scripts, and click save. I already saved this, so I'm done. Just uh, you're done. That's all you need to do. For that, we do need to compile the scripts, though. So you just go into Sapien and hit Control Shift C, and that'll compile it. So after you've done that, just compile your mapping tool, and it if you did it right, it should display your text, so it would be fatty in the right hand corner of your screen, and it'd be up there for 10 seconds. It's useful for displaying map names like Cold Snap, 